What's going on everyone? In this video, I'll teach you how to give your bot a custom status. This could be playing, listening, watching, or even streaming, which takes you to a YouTube or Twitch link. This is actually really simple, so I'll even show you how to make your bot change its status every 10 to 15 seconds. To start off, head over to your bot's ready event listener, inside of which we'll add a new line saying client.user.setActivity. This method will take in an object as an argument where you can set the name property to the text that you want your bot to show in the status. I'll just say under control here because I'm not very original. So let's save the file and then run it. If we go to Discord, sure enough, our bot now has a status that says playing under control. However, let's say we want our bot to say something like watching or listening instead of playing. In order to change that, we first need to import something called activity type from Discord.js. Once we've done that, we can now add another property to our object called type and you can set this to activity type dot and here you'll see all the available options. Let's go for watching this time. Let's save the file and check Discord. Sure enough, it did change it to watching this time. However, we might want to also add a streaming status where the user will have an option to click a link to watch a stream or a YouTube video. So let's try that. We can change our activity type to streaming. And for this activity type to work, we're going to have to pass in another property called URL. Now the URL can only be a YouTube link or a Twitch link or else the status will not work. So I'll just paste in a link of a random video that I found on YouTube. Now let's save the file and see what we get. It does say streaming under control and now we have an option of watching. Now let's say we want our bot to change its status every few seconds. In our case, we're going to be changing it every 10 seconds because I noticed when it's too short, Discord starts rate limiting the feature. To set that up, let's first create an array called status, which will take in objects of all the possible statuses that we want our bot to show. Each object will have the name property and you can optionally add type and URL based on your choice. In this case, it is following the structure of this object right here, which means you can just cut that and paste it over here. Now I'm going to duplicate this a few times and modify it a little. Okay, now I have my array ready, so let's work with it. Inside our ready event listener, let's first remove the previous code that we had and let's use a set interval. And the interval time that we're going to use is, as I said before, 10 seconds. So the milliseconds is going to be 10,000. Inside our set interval function, let's create a variable called random, which will generate a random index based on the length of our status array. We can say math.floor math.random and we can say times status dot length. Finally, we can set the bot activity based on that index. So let's say client dot user dot set activity and let's set it to the status of that random index that we just generated. This is really all you need. Let's save the file and check our bot. Now, since we're using set interval, it is going to take 10 seconds before the first function is triggered, which means we're going to have to wait 10 seconds. However, in some cases like mine right now, it is going to take a little longer because I think Discord started rate limiting on how much I can change my bot status. Awesome. It's now working. Now it's going to be changing every 10 seconds to another status. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any problems, be sure to join my Discord and I'll help you out from there. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to give it a like. And if you guys are enjoying my content, make sure to subscribe. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.